Okay, now this step, uh, we are going to mount the H-bridge and wire it up to the motors. Um, this is the PDF file from Elegoo. It says, please notice the direction of the black and red cables. I, I think what they mean is, make sure that you wire the correct red and black wires as shown on this diagram. <coughs> So, here is our, here is our H-bridge motor driver. I'll cut this out here. Now the reason I call it an H-bridge is because it has four FET, field effect transistors, and they're formed in the shape of an H electrically. So here's the H-bridge. Your FET transistors are inside this integrated circuit mounted on a heat sink here. Uh, the reason it's mounted on a heat sink, that's what this black finned aluminum piece is, is that when it's driving these motors it can get hot. Um, and so, basically you have um, the control signals from the Arduino coming into these pins here. And you basically have one motor forward-backwards, other motor forward-backwards, so that's four pins. You also have these enable pins. So, these is, this is how you control the speed of the motor. By pulsing these enable pins you can make the motors turn slower. Uh, if you just apply a signal and you leave the enable pin uh, turned on all the time, which is what these jumpers are for, so uh, you could use those, but we're not going to. We are going to leave these jumpers off. Um, also, the power for the motors from the batteries comes in here um, and we'll be wiring that up later um, so the batteries will come here that power from the batteries will go to the FETs these control pins turn the FETs on and off depending on which way you want to go and how fast and then the uh, control of the motors, the electricity to the motors, then comes from these two pins here. So <clears throat> we're going to mount this, uh, mount this down.